A few thoughts now. It is a busy week, but a few thoughts now as the president prepares to meet with China's president, Xi Jinping, for the first time. The president predicting a very difficult summit with the president of China, and there is a full table of issues for the two leaders to resolve. North Korea will likely top the agenda after the White House declared that the clock has run out on North Korea. The president earlier this week warned the United States will take unilateral action to eliminate the threat of North Korea, unless Beijing steps up to its responsibilities, comments echoed by Ambassador Nikki Haley. I think the United States has seen China um, for 25 plus years say that they're concerned about North Korea, but we haven't seen them act like they're concerned about North Korea. And North Korea, of course, not the only pressing issue. China has added complexity to the Mar-a-Lago meeting by stepping up the militarization of the South China Sea, recently finishing the construction of buildings on artificial islands that it built that may house now surface-to-air missiles. And on trade, the president had threatened to impose a 45 percent tariff on Chinese imports. He has also promised to label China a currency manipulator. Neither response is wrong but may be unhelpful in winning China's assistance with other issues, particularly North Korea. While this summit is important, it is not likely to set the tone or the tempo for our relationship with China for years to come. This meeting will be first about introducing President Xi to the new U.S. leadership perspective. That is, America first. The Chinese will require, I'm sure, some time and space to adjust to America's new leadership and new direction.